right now. Thanks for watching. It's bad enough when a child's paternity is uncertain, but sometimes the search for a dad can last for decades. Please welcome Don Trey to the show. Don Trey, how you doing, man? I'm doing bad. All right. How, how old are you? I'm 23. 23. And for those 23 years, you have believed or not believed you knew who your biological dad was. Right. You, you don't know. You're not certain. No. Nah. Tell me about your relationship with your supposed biological dead well it hasn't really been a relationship um bill um let me just put the cheese on a cracker for you. put it on baby put it on put it on put it on basically um for 23 years um i've been going through life thinking that this was my father um and he wants a dna test after all of these years how does that make you feel i'm pissed off you don't um, like it due at all to the fact that the matter is it's all this time you could have did this when i was five you could have did this when i was two why now, after all this? I have a son of my own now. And it, 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 it hurts me because it's like, why would you do this and you could have did it in the past? Now I'm older when I probably wouldn't even know of it. And money may be an issue here because, as I understand it, your supposed biological dad owes your biological mom about $60,000 in back child support. And if he can get out of that by saying, I'm not... Your father, he might save him a lot of money. But more importantly, wasn't your daddy in prison for 15 years? Yeah. Explain that process. So for 15 years, I wrote him um, every day, you know, explaining myself who I am because he didn't get that opportunity to know who I am. It, it threw me for a loop to meet him, and it wasn't like I anticipated. What happened at that meeting? When I met him, uh, I was 17, and I was on my way to uh, homecoming. And when I went to the homecoming, um, I went to his house. And when I went to his house, all of my other siblings were there. And it threw me for a loop because I was like, how could all of them be here? And I'm the one person, and I never knew you were even in Milwaukee for that time. You didn't know, He ignored you when he got out. Basically. You yeah. thought the day he got out, because of all the letters you had written, and because you held him in such high esteem, this is going to be a brand new relationship yeah, with I, your dad. So you finally meet him kind of on the, off the cuff, and he doesn't acknowledge you basically he didn't acknowledge me he didn't even let me know look i'm your father i love you i'm here he didn't embrace me he didn't do none of that how'd that make you feel it hurt it hurt for a long time i went from hurt to disappointment to anger till i to now i just really don't care and you know you, your mother has tried to get him to take dna test in the past you know what he said i'm not doing it i don't want to know but now when he gets a notice on sixty thousand dollars in back child support yeah. Now, yeah. Now, yeah. now now it's ironic that he won it's ironic and so he missed your whole he was in prison for he 15 missed a years lot. birthdays holidays um sporting events gra well he made my graduation he and wants to see your mom though doesn't, doesn't yeah he? he every time when he would call it would be hi trey and i'd be like what's up pop he'd be like oh where your mom at it will never Why? be how you doing, how school, what's going on, Let what's going on in your life. Why do you want to talk to your mom? I think it was for sex, to be honest. Mm. Let's find out. Please welcome Trey's alleged father, Kenyatta, to the show. Kenyatta, come on out. Hi. Uh, right. Kenyatta, how you doing, man? I'm doing all right, Bill. Said, tell me what's going on. Why do you doubt paternity uh, of this fine young man? Oh, uh, because it's, it's a long story. It's like... When I when I was when I when I when I when I was there to see him come out the womb, you were there. I was at the hospital. And wait, what happened with wait, that telephone wait. call? And I, and if somebody called the phone and say they the, they the, they're they're the father of my son, supposed to be. I done went and passed out cigars, got ready for the big day. Then the they, call comes from his dad. Then the call comes and they say, um, "It's somebody else on the phone talking about they the dad." And you said, well, "I say what? You know what I'm saying?" Did you know that went on? Yeah, he, I mean, he told you me that when we had that conversation when I was 17. But up until that point, it was never brought to my attention. I never knew that. And then, so why didn't you take the opportunity to get the test right then and there? You know what I mean? Like then, right then and there, you could have took the test and we could have oh, got we, this settled. We tried to do that then, right then and there. You know what I'm saying? But then, you know, money issues and... Plus, 23 years ago, the DNA isn't what it is today. Right. So when you were locked up for 15 years for as a rather serious offense, you got a lot of letters from Trey, didn't you? 
I got a few letters from not a lot of letters like uh, every few? day. A uh, few? You was writing me every day. I was writing you all the time. I wrote you. I remember. I told you each and every little girl I had a crush on. I told you what I was doing in yeah, school, yeah, yeah. what grades that. I was getting, you did that. all of that. Yeah, and for I, a long time. And I never wrote you back. I never said that you never wrote me back. That was not what I said. Oh. I never said that. That was not what I said. What I said was, I wrote you all this time, and then when it came down to it, I felt as if when you got out, you was around all my other siblings but me. I was what was the Him and you rejected him. Did you call his mother for sex instead of trying to see Drake? No, I didn't have a call his mother for sex. We were just having conversations. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it was, it was a lot of... It was a lot of uh, how can I put this? A lot of like, you were uncertain. What yeah, about the sixty thousand dollars? Is that a factor? Yeah, that's a factor. That's like a factor, isn't it? Yeah, but that ain't got nothing to do with Please why. Please welcome Trey's mother, Nicole, to the show. Nicole, that come on out. That ain't got nothing to do with why. That ain't got nothing to do with why. Sit down here, Mama. Tell me what's happening. The dynamic of this relationship, because. Do you have any doubt whether or not he's the father of this young man? I don't have no doubt. No. They look too much alike. Too much alike. They act alike. They dance alike. They, they I mean, their face are alike. They are. This is my child's father. No question. No question. Well, what happened at the it. delivery room when there was a call made from some dude who said, I'm the father? What happened was, yes, I was in labor, and he was there. He was there, but what happened was this guy called, and this was my best friend's brother. Um, that's his character. That's who he is. Said, and I told him. He was joking. So like, it, it, it was, was joking. joking. It was supposed to be a joke. Funny joke. Not, not that's a what joke. I said. That's not what I said. Funny, but that's just who he is. So no, why no. didn't he get resolved then? Like that's why didn't he resolve the DNA? I'm 23 years old. You know He's lived a life. life. For a long time, I had my own son that I got to deal with. Can you imagine son. what this man's gone through for I know exactly what he's going through. But that's my child. So I know what he's went through, and I know what's going on. I've been with him from day four. This is my child, and like and I is said, that, this, is is that his, the this is his father. Does he call you only for sex? Is that goes on? He calls for different, numerous things. He's, I mean, a boy didn't want to hear that about his mom. I, I mean, no, listen, listen, been listen, good listen friends to this, though. This is what I'm trying to say is, two years after that, two years after that, Bill, I go over another man's house. I'm looking on, 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 on top of the mantle. This happened to be the same man who makes the call now. Same guy. Same guy. Two what do you see later. on that mantle at his house? Two years later, I see, I see my son picture on the top of a fireplace. I asked him. I asked the lady. I say, uh, why, why you got this? Uh, I mean, where you know this little? Did you call her? And no, no, no. Did you, no, 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 did you confront her? Why would a man have a baby yes. sexual yes. no, like, like What did she said, say? Like she I said, said she didn't. it was she the she best said, friend. She said the best friend, the best friend, did, brother that did it. He, yeah, he took the picture. Aren't you engaged now to another one? No, no, What happened? This is what happened. Over when I go above the man, I'm like, who is who? Where's my boy? Where's my boy? I'm like, I'm like, where's my son? That's my boy. I asked, I asked you, asked her, you asked her, because this is what you told. Where do you know this little boy? And she said, that's my baby daddy's. Son. So why didn't you say, how could that be possible if this is supposed to be my son? Oh, you think I didn't check? My son. You don't think I checked? My son. You don't think I checked him? Because I know for certain, if I go to any man house and he got my son on his mantle, oh, it's going to be problems. I need to know the answer. So it wasn't no man. It wasn't no man. I was going to ask her. I was going to ask her. I asked her and then I asked her. And then and I moved out. I moved out the house because I, she couldn't give me no explanation. So I moved. Bro, you I moved. House. You moved. Yeah. yeah, I was staying with you on no, 27. No. That's when I took the game. How many kids do you no. have, Kenyatta? Do you know how many kids? I got kids? nine kids. Seven, seven kids. boys. Seven boys and two girls. How many are called Kenyatta? Three of them. You're like and George Foreman. George, George that, Foreman. Bill, the crazy part about that is I met one of my brothers. I was in the I was a junior in high school, right? A junior in high school. They said I got suspended. I'm like, how do I get how did I get suspended? I went to each one of my classes. I did all my work. I didn't even talk to nobody. So when it came down to it, I'm like, how could I get suspended? I went in the office. When I went in the office, they like, Kenyatta, that's not you. That was a sophomore. So I was like, Wow. Your official First name is and last name? Your I'm official like, name crazy. is Kenyatta, but they yeah. call you Trey. So you're thinking you got another Kenyatta and it wasn't you, it was some other Gee, how'd you get locked up for fifteen years and have nine babies? I got I got I had the babies before I went to jail. And how many you got after you came out? One. One. All right, let's do this. 
A lot more is coming up, including Kenyatta's fiance. Your fiance is here, right? And she wants to know. This is your dad. Do you know that's your dad? When it's all said and done, yeah. Yeah, I know, this but is how this is going to go. It's just a killer part of 23 years. Pop, 23 years? You act like I don't know. You act like I ain't tripping about the 23 years. Uh, aren't you, you denying? Like, do you, you deny know. him? I ain't never denying. What about the 60,000 bucks you owe? No, I, that's what I want to find out what's up with you that. You want to deny know. that? It's gone. It's gone. Keanu's fiance is coming up. Stay right there. DNA doubt. So you treated him differently than the other eight. And I because I had, you know, you know what I'm saying, doubt. Of the, you know what I'm saying, is he mine? And a fiery fiancé is added to the mix. Do you believe Kenyatta is, in fact, the biological father? I Trump? can't say whether he is or not. That was before my time. But he has his own doubts if he's his or not because of the story that was told. And new accusations arrive. I didn't call and tell you anything. I didn't have a discussion with you about your child support with him. Period. Maybe y'all had a discussion. No, Don't no, bring no, that no. to me. A lot of DNA drama today. Please welcome Kenyatta's fiance, Stacy, to the show. Stacy, we were backstage a little bit, and you were a little bit angry about some of the questions I asked, information I'd gotten from Trey, and that was the information I got. So, do you believe Kenyatta is, in fact, the biological father? I Trump. can't say whether he is or not. That was before my time. But he has his own doubts if he's his or not because of the story that was told. And I just want him to go head on and get it over so they can move on with their life. Dontre has a child now. He could possibly be his grandfather. He should be able to have the same bond that he had with the children that's with us, the same one with him. That's only fair to do it and get it over with. You gotta with. get it over with, but I I Stacy, I'm with you. I agree. Do you think he's the biological father? Do you think that's not my place to say whether he is or not. I wasn't there when they had that child or they made that child. That was them them too. That's right. 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 But he looks he I mean, if you look at all of them, they all look alike. They all look alike. They all this boy looks just like that one. Yeah. This one got the nose just like him. This one acts like him. This is who I dealt with many days of going through. And you did a great so job. I, I a know, great I job. Know. I, I never said that you did not do a good job and, with and your kids. And it's all good. But like I said, when it's all said and done, he going to see Dontre is here. That, that's that's a good thing, though. That, that way they, they can start building a relationship exactly. to become closer with each other. But it shouldn't even have to take all this for, for me and him to build a relationship. Regardless of the fact that he felt like I was his or if I wasn't his. If the thing about it is if you coming around and you being there and you, you know what I'm saying, you coming to the crib and you chilling with I wasn't trying to stuff, build no relationship with you. But, but I, didn't, not, I didn't say that you didn't try to build a relationship, but you didn't try to, you ain't try as hard as you did with my other siblings. Okay. Listen, is that a point? I mean, no, 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 that is a valid point. Any, so you any, treated any, him differently than the other eight. And I because I had, you know, you know what I'm saying, doubts. You know what I'm saying, is he mine? Come on now. That's all. Today we're going to resolve. Do you bury him until you find out? Is that right, Stacey? You want to find out? Yeah, because why would I want to get married to somebody we don't have everything that, all the doubts that you have and the things that you want to get done and do this. Take care of business. We need to do this so we can start, so our family be right. If like, if he's a part of our family, he needs to be with us, too. He needs to come see his other sisters and you know, all the time. And you can come to me anytime you want me. Like, 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 I always got to come to you. You can come to me. You can call me. You have my number. You can call me anytime. But that's the thing. I have my not called you. And every time you call me, we're supposed to went to my sister. Listen, we're supposed to went to my sister party. Right? Yeah. Okay. So when I called you, when we were supposed to go to the party, did you pick up? No, I didn't. Okay. And I called you the day of, did you pick up? No. Stacy, did yeah. you call Nicole to try to get the child support lowered? What? Did you call her to try to get lower child support? I called her to what? Did you call her Some to try to get... Ago, you told, when they was talking about doing the changing, you told me to lower it, to take it off. You recall that? You, you said take Nicole, it off. Nicole, is that true? Off. You said take it off. She don't remember I that. didn't call and tell you anything. I didn't have a discussion with you about your child support with him, period. Maybe y'all had no, a discussion. No, don't no, bring babe. that to no, me. No, no, no. But you will not marry him until you find out. You want to take care of all business. I just business. want him to have all his things together. Everything handled. And handled so we can move on with our life. I'm not, I'm not here to geek nothing up to make people look bad. I'm not going to stand on this stage and make my black sister look bad because you want to act some <laughs> Because when you're done, you got to go back home and everybody in the world got to watch 
But guess what? We still got to stick together. You got to live so your life. So you want to do this? You guys will take the test. Let's get it out. Get it out. That's right. That's right. That's right. But you understand? That's what I'm doing. You understand? This information came from them. It didn't come from me. They gave me the information. I don't from let's go. This is the way they feel. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't know he felt like this, though. We, we, he feels we, like I this. I know, but we talk all the time, though. He could have been told. And that's the thing. That's the thing. Like, that's what I'm trying to get you to understand, Pop. For a long time, it's like bringing, that's like Pop, that's like Grandpops. When I, when I coming to you, you, right? Coming to you, you ain't, seen, you ain't seen them. You know what I'm saying? Right. And you supposed to, you got to, you got, in your, in your mind, you thinking like, okay, this person is, all this, you know what I'm saying? This person got it going on. I got tattoos all over my body because who? And that's just like because who? You. you got plenty of tattoos, right? I got that from you. I wanted to be tatted because you were tatted. You know what I'm saying? I got tattoos because they mean something to me. But you had the tattoos. I got those off of pictures that you sent me when you was in prison. Wow. How about he wants your relationship? Got a, we got the same tattoo of Granddad on our arm. Did you know that? Yeah, I knew that. But he wants a relationship. Yeah. Are you willing to provide I, it if you're the biological dad? I've, I've messed with Trey. This is what I'm trying to say. Every time Trey called me for anything, am I there? Yeah. What if am he's I there? You That's what I'm trying to say. You I'm just saying, I'm whatever, whatever. If you call it's, me it's, and tell me for, to come. No, it's for different reasons. Trey, what you if you find out he's Don't. not your dad? What if he's not your biological dad? Then I, I give him an apology. But he's still going to be there because that's I'm all you know. That's all I know. He's been there for But he needs to know who his father is. He needs to know. All I know, I know I've always been there. I might not have been there the way you wanted me to be there, but I've always been there the way I could. You know what I'm saying? If you call me, then somebody should press on you on any there. Yeah, you there. And I'm going to say, I'm not going to sweat them, though. Yes, yes, right, of yeah. course you are. But right, I, what yeah. I'm saying is you're not there for the other things. Like, when I called you, I said, I'm having my baby shower. Did I come? You came because you talked to her. No, I came. Yeah, no, look, no, 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 that is not what happened. This is what happened. Okay. I called you. I said, I'm having my baby shower, right? right? I called my mama. I'm like, Ma, you know what I'm saying? Today the baby shower. She like, oh, yeah, I know. You know, I'll be there. As soon as I got off the phone with, with her, you called me. I hadn't talked to you in like... I caught you. Maybe like I a couple you. months. I caught you. And then I, I said, you, you said, what you doing today? I said, oh, I'm going, you know, I'm having my baby shower today. Did he come to his grandbaby's baby shower? He came, he came to the baby he came. shower. He came to the baby he shower. He came to the baby shower. shower. We got the DNA coming up. Bill. It's important. Stacy. it's important to you. You want to... F it's, it's important so that they can build a relationship. How they Take be. care of family business. That's it. But understand, Stacy. everything I said came from these two, and I asked the questions. Let's continue with more. Another DNA drama. Don't want to miss what's coming up with this. Stay right there. A father of two? You think you have two kids. One six-year-old girl and a three-year-old boy. His DNA doubts. I got disputed because I'm, I'm going to be the third guy to get tested. Leads to baby mama drama. He was crying for you, and he do oh, call you dad. Yeah, he, he do call yeah, you dad. He, he call you dad. He call you dad. Sit down, Sheree. Oh, no. Sit down, Sheree. Oh, no. No, 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 no. If you love watching from your couch, wait until you see us live for your free tickets to a taping in New York City. Go to our website, BillCunninghamShow.com, or call toll-free 888-710-8425 now. On today's show, we're hoping to solve long-simmering DNA disputes that are tearing families apart. Please welcome Jamal to the show. Jamal, how you doing, man? Doing great. Why are you here today? I'm here today to find out if this little boy is mine, because I'm tired of not being able to see my daughter. My daughter's six years old. Here's your little boy. So let's tell the story. You believe, you think you have two kids, one six-year-old girl and a three-year-old boy. Right. And your baby mama won't let you see your daughter, which not, is not in dispute, mm -hmm. because you kind of dispute whether you're the father of the three-year-old boy. Right, and I disputed because I'm the, I'm gonna be the third guy to get tested by her. When, number three. I'm gonna be number three. When we when she when she stayed with me, we only had sex one time other than with my daughter. One time. One time. One time. She told me the daddy's in, in another state. She left and she she moved. She left. Then come back to her a year later. When she came back, I paid for her to come back. And when I paid for her to come back, I asked her. I mean I didn't I didn't ask when I when I paid for her to come back, she told me that she wanted me to come back so I could be in my daughter's life. That's, all, that's what it was. Then when she got back, all of a sudden, three to four months later, I get a letter in the mail saying I have 30 days to respond to child support. Child support? At this time, so I'm she in the said process, you are. Right. At this time, I'm in the process of moving. So by the time I get the letter, the 30 days is already up. So how, how it works where I'm from, 
is that after that 30 days, regardless if you respond or not, you're on child support. You so now I'm paying child support for a child that I don't even know is mine. And going back in the beginning, you're saying there's only one chance that that boy could be, in fact, your son because you had relations one time. I did, one time. One man. time. But you're, you're at least the third person to be tested. Hey, I'm getting ready to be the third person to get tested. She got somebody tested where she's from. She got somebody tested where I'm from. Hey. So I'm, I'm going to be guy number three. And you've called the police on her in the past? Uh, yes, I've called the police because I had problems getting my daughter due to this little boy. So uh, she's holding your daughter ransom because you won't, won't take the, the three-year-old. So you'll go pick up the kids, but she says you'll pick up your daughter and leave the three-year-old boy there. Is that right? Right. Some, sometimes I you will. Do. Yeah, sometimes I will. I'll leave my daughter. I'll leave him. I'll get my daughter and I'll leave him there. And it's just because, like, I feel like, how would you want your daughter to be, how would you want your son to be with somebody that, they don't have that same bond, you know, like I have that bond with my daughter. Isn't that a little you know? bit unkind to the three-year-old boy, though, to leave him at home? Because does he think you are the baby daddy? Does the little boy think that? I mean, the little boy's three. I know he's three, he, he, but, he he, really... you know, three-year-olds can run toward dad right, or mom. He doesn't don't do all that to me. He, he doesn't run do to that. me and do all of, all of this and that. He's, he's kind of afraid of me because he doesn't know me. It's like you're pushing your son on me or because you want the child support or whatever. If that's the case, don't push your son on me. There's no way I'm going to send my son with somebody that my son barely even knows. Or if, if anything, if she wanted me to be in this child life, if anything, it could have been, that's going to meet at a McDonald's, that's going to meet at a Burger King, and that's get to know him first. Do, does this little boy call some other man daddy for the last couple of years? Uh, I mean, she stayed with a guy for the last couple, for a couple of years while she was in Georgia. I'm pretty sure that's who they was calling So you don't feel the or, connection to the boy that you feel for the little girl? That I feel for my little but girl. But today's the day. You took DNA. We're going to yeah, find out today. Yeah, I took yeah. DNA today. If, Do you want it to be that way or not? If he's mine, I'm going to take You're care there, of him. You're like there, 100%. I'm going to be there 100%. Please like welcome Jamal's baby mama, Sheree, to the show. Sheree, come on out.
son. Did you hey, yes, you was hold the yeah, daughter because yeah. he won't pick up the son. So how am I gonna take care of somebody if she won't let me take care of You ain't gonna take care of one. You ain't gonna take care of one. Has he refused DNA? Has he refused? I even called the court and said, Has he refused DNA in the past? Yes, he refused. I paid DNA. I and he wouldn't do it. Says, and who, who took the test? You the one who took the test? Who took the test? Who took the test? Look, who took the test? You didn't want to take it. I tried to get you to take it. I tried to get you to take it. I tried to get you to take it. Who took it? The other guy. The other guy that stayed with me. Guess what? Cherie's mom is up next. Cherie's mom, stay right there. DNA drama rages on. How do you choose that this my child, this not, this my child, but this one not? When then, I understand you had you off. Oh, she she said, you she she take my daughter, she told me that was my child. Yeah. The answers you've been waiting for. Jamal, when it comes to the paternity of that beautiful three-year-old baby boy, Jamal, you are the results you can't miss. Wow. 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 Are you in a DNA dispute? If you need to clear up a paternity issue, we'll do a free DNA test on our show. Contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call me at 1-855-US-BILL or text guest at 95902. Messages and data rates may apply. Give us a call right now. It was that with her. You know you slept with her. So why not take the DNA test and then start bringing us way to New York to all of a sudden, now you got child support, now I want DNA. That didn't even have to happen. DNA drama, your mother Sharon is here, Cherie. You freely admit this is the third man that you've tested. And secondly, I think you freely admit you refuse him to see his own daughter as more or less ransom so that he takes the three-year-old that he disputes. Now understand his position, there's no dispute. He hadn't seen his kids now in two or three months. And the problem is he wants the relationship. He's the father. Right, it's not, it's he's not the father. He needs to take care. And I am. No, you don't do nothing. I am. If you don't do father, nothing. I'm going to take care of him. But like I said, like, how can you expect, how can, why do you want? Because I'm not going to take Sakaria just by herself. That's her brother. I would, and you're the So what? When, when I do, when, if, if I am you the daddy, you take care of other kids. Daddy, you take care of other kids, but you can't even take care of. You're right. I take care of my kids. They're not yours. I'm talking about you take care of kids. It's not even yours. Yeah, but my, you can't even take care of my girlfriend at the time. Okay, so so you telling me? You think he's yours? You ain't think he's yours. I don't think he's mine. That's the thing. You don't think he's yours? But if he is, he is. Are you 100% certain? What about the other two that. guys you've tested? What about you were 100%? She was 100% of them too. 100%. She wanted to get her husband, so she was 100%. 100%. Yeah, yeah. No, that's not true. I wasn't. What is your DNA test result? What is your mom Sharon's face? Okay, if you okay, she said she did the DNA so she could show me. So why did you even leave Texas? Why did you leave Texas? Why did you leave Texas? I don't want to be. My child. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Yes. So you know her child already. She had not she had not been the type kind of child that she gonna just throw anybody on any person. She said three she people tested. Yeah, yeah, so yes, yeah, she 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 she's she not gonna be that type, but she is that type because I'm number three. Yeah, but she just like I'm number three. Sharon, have a seat right there, honey. Georgia, she did not say I'm sit, going to Georgia because I she didn't tell me I'm going to Georgia because I got him tested because you didn't believe him. It's from Georgia? You didn't believe me. Why did you, you, get, the Why did you get the guy in Georgia, Texas? Tell the world. But, but Why did you get the guy in Georgia, Texas? The because one, what? The first guy. The first because what? The guy in Texas is because in Georgia, Georgia, I thought he was ill. You thought he was ill. Because Jamal wouldn't get tested Look, because she thought he was the daddy. Because you said he's the father, he's the father. I said, no, he's not the father. He's 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 the I'm with her. That's any man. 
men, if they with a woman, if they with a woman, and then that's who they having sex with, and that's, they think that they're the daddy, if they well, go you and the tell, daddy, you if the they tell that somebody else is the daddy, you the daddy. Then Jerry, what kind of man? Let me hear from mom. What kind of man is Jamal? Wait a minute. You know what? Jamal, I really... And that's how I say. Let's share and talk. I had a lot of respect for you because when I saw you... But I, I didn't like the idea that you had got my child pregnant at an early age. Anyway, she then, cooperated in that. But, she sure did. I know I understand she cooperated. They both had... She older than me. And she didn't she tell you she was going to get pregnant before she got pregnant? I was the pregnant. young one. She older than me. But then, but then when, he, when he stepped up he and said he helped with my granddaughter, I thought, okay, I thought he was he real good. Now what? Let Mama talk. Go ahead, How do you, how you choose... How do you choose that this my child, this not, this my child, but this one not. When then, I understand you had, you, oh, she's 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 my my daughter, with my daughter, my daughter, my daughter, she told me that was my child. Yes. So that's my she child. Told I took care of my child. She told you the ball, let the ball be yours. After the guy from Georgia. I was number two. I was a child with daddy a year later. You didn't know anything. I was daddy a year later. You didn't know anything until she came into you and she said, look, Jamal, this child is yours, but I'm going to let you be free and take a DNA. All you had to do, you don't know half the story. You was in Georgia. We her had sex. Let me tell y'all a story. We her had sex. Take her one time. We her had sex. Okay, let me tell you. Jamal's got the heart. Jamal, I got it. More than one time. You and Chad's more than one time. We had more than one time. We had more than one time. Okay, listen to the story. Listen to the story. Jamal, you just told me. You just told me one time. She told me. She told me. You got. She told me I'm three months pregnant and it's about to be in Georgia. That's what she said. She said that. That's not true. DNA test results are next. Stay right there. DNA. Free tickets to see the Bill Cunningham Show live in New York City. Go to BillCunninghamShow.com or call 888-710-8425 now. It's time for you to take control and give my guests some tough love. How would you resolve the issue? Should Kenyatta have been more of a father figure in Dontre's life? Call me with your answer to 1-855-TELL-BILL. You hear what other viewers answer and receive some valuable offers. Take control and call 1-855-TELL-BILL. I've been, I've been trying to tell you to call. I've been trying to tell you, can you call? I mean, you didn't even call for Christmas. You don't even call. You don't even call. Not five minutes, two minutes. You don't do nothing. Nothing. Why, why I do something for him? That's what I'm trying to tell because you. Because you know he's yours. I don't, because you told me he's not. We have two families in turmoil over unresolved paternity issues, so let's start the solving. Now it's time for the DNA test right here. All right, Trey, let's come to you first. Every person has a right to know biologically who their daddy, no question. And you feel a little hurt by the fact that for like 23 years, for a good chunk of that time, that you've been denied by your dad. Is that the, the I mean, it, it wasn't more so than I, it was, I was robbed of 15 and then those other nine, it was like he was there, but it was only like in certain portions. You, know you want them all in. I want them all in. He's got just nine like kids, he's got nine kids. So we put in nine years, you know what I'm nine saying? Years. With each, every, with everybody, everybody, it's not a, because I, this, because of that, I, if you my father, then be my father. You know what I'm saying? How certain are Regardless. you that that's the father of this boy? Without a shadow of doubt, I know this is his, that's his dad. And it's relevant to you because you want to take care of all family business before you get in a marriage with this yeah, man. Yeah, it's only fair to that they both be here to build a relationship and move on. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Trey, we're waiting for this for 23 years. When it comes to your paternity, Kenyatta, you are the father. Yeah! You may have lost a few wow. years, but there's so many more years to live. Young man, young man, long time. Good. A lot of, a lot of making up to do. Trey, how do you feel now, man? How do you feel? Wow. Wow. Trey, all this time. Yeah, Lord, thank you. Ooh, wow. Wow. 
it's over. This is the beginning. Just the beginning. Trey, just the beginning. You two have a lot to go. He's a young man. You're a young man. You got a whole life together. I should spend. All right. Here we go, Jamal. You told me off the air you kind of hope you're not the baby daddy of the boy, right? Yeah. Honestly, you don't want to pay child support. You don't want to pay child there's more to it than being a father. Yeah, if I'm the baby's father, I'm going to be the baby's father. And Cherie, this is number three you've tested, but you're certain it can't be. I'm going to test him for certain reason. Look at him. He looks just like him. He, he needs to know who his biological dad is. He calls him dad. <laughs> if, I'm his, if I'm his dad, I'm going to take care of him. He cries when he leaves. Like, when he tries to take Sakari, he cries. Jamal, when it comes to the paternity of that beautiful three-year-old baby boy, Jamal, you are the baby daddy. When he comes to pick up his two kids, no question, they're going with the girls. Can, can he come to the house and stay? Because I understand you don't let him in the house. Can he come to the house he now? Come no, I want to go to the house and stay. You stay, not stay, stay, but stay. I mean, hang around, be a family unit is what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, that's how we both like that. That's how a we family start, unit. So, yeah. I feel yeah, so like glad that, that I'm glad it's over. It's over. I Good result. Like. Man, he can take we care. Know. Good result. Congratulations. Help is on the way. Stay right there. Good result. Stay right there. Today's DNA testing and results were provided by DNA Diagnostic Center. They doubt. Yeah, I know, this but is this, how this is going to go. killer part of 23 years. Pop, 23 years? They pay for the Well, you sit down and see if she'll sit down. 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 You are the baby daddy. <laughs> Long simmering DNA disputes have torn these families apart. Now let's put the pieces back together. Please welcome life coach Selena Gill to the show. Selena, good to see you again. Let's go this way. One thing when you see your baby's picture on some other man's mantle, it's a problem. When you get the call in the delivery room that the baby daddy's on the phone, I can understand where the biological dad is coming from. But all the disputes are now gone. All the past doesn't matter. Well, how do we move on from this day forward with this wonderful family? Well, dad has a lot of making up to do. And he needs, son needs an apology because he was literally rejected for, from the time he was born until today. So, first, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, son, for causing you any kind of grief. And that was my thing. And then understand that it's going to take time for him to really be involved. You can't just jump into being dad because now you have to develop the relationship. But he wants the relationship, and you see that. And fiance and mom over here, as long as you keep, please, keep giving support. You know, don't try to interfere. And it sounds like you've been supportive. And anything that's in the past is now squashed. It's done. There's nothing to argue about anymore. This is dad. And Stacey, you almost didn't come on stage. Are you happy now with the result? I was happy regardless of which, either way it came out. But I'm glad that he got a chance to really just put closure to this and that he could be there in his son's life. That's but it. But he always, he been there in and out. So. Now it's permanent. It's permanent ever is. You're going to get married now to Kenyatta? Yes. That's it. All right. All right, Selena. Selena Jamal. I never like to hear that a mother is like blackmailing somebody to take one child when the other one's in dispute. And but I understand Cherie saying, "Wait a minute, they got to stay together. They're, the, the brother and sister got to." I understand both. But now that we've solved this, I think it's great for the family. But as Jamal has said, he's his second or third guy tested. He didn't have a lot of confidence. But now he's got to really attach himself to. A little boy needs a man to a, to example and to live after. Well, where does his family go from here? Well, during the break, I heard you all squabbling about some other mess. That's happened in the past. From this day forward, it doesn't even matter anymore. You're a dad. Be a dad to your son and be, continue to be a dad to your daughter. 
There's no, there should never be a blackmailing of take this child, not the other. No, yeah, I am. I'm going to start, start being a dad. I'm going to start being a dad. I'm going to start being a dad. And paying child support. This was financially. Financially. paying child support for both children. <laughs> yeah, I do. No, I do pay child no, support he, for both of them. She has child support for both of them. But it's not coming to me. So. But it's not like blackmail. It's just I'm not going to have my daughter going out having fun while her brother crying and want to go too. Okay, and that's what I'm telling. She has a third child. What she think when I get my other two child, he's going to be at home? Not no, doing he's going to do it. But so that's what? not I'm your not son. You him. don't got to worry about him. That's not your okay, son. That's you don't got to worry about him. He's still doing it. He's still doing it. It's done. It's over. It's done. Done. Over. done. He's dead. He's done. done. And Sharon, do you accept Jamal in every part of this life with with your grandkids right now? You're in. No more arguments with him. It's done. Yeah, I always uh, accept him. I just want, I, I always believe that that baby was his. And I just want you to do the same thing that you do for the, all of his other children. And Don't Jamal, you promise, out. right? You promise. I promise. All right, when we continue is the bottom line. For more info, go to the website, BillCunninghamShow.com. time for you to take control and give my guests some tough love. How would you resolve the issue? Should Kenyatta have been more of a father figure in Don Trey's life? Call me with your answer to 1-855-TELL-BILL. You hear what other viewers answered and receive some valuable offers. Take control and call 1-855-TELL-BILL right now. If your family is feuding over a DNA dilemma, here's the bottom line. Don't let a DNA dispute drag on for years or decades. If there's a question about paternity, do whatever it takes to get a DNA test done now. A child should not have to wait years to know who their father is. And a father should not have to wait to start acting like one. I want to thank all my guests for coming in, and I'll see you the next time. Yeah,